Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Unfriended. So Unfriended is about this girl named Laura Barnes. On April 2013, she committed suicide due to the fact that an embarrassing video of her was posted online. So then two years later, a group of these friends just come together on Skype and it happens to be the anniversary that Laura Burns, uh, Barnes has passed away and basically the supernatural force which appears to be Laura Burns herself is taking revenge on all of these friends and they all have to play a little game in order for them to survive because if they sign off of this group chat on Skype, boom, you're gone. I was not interested in the slightest to see this movie. One thing is because, yes, it's a little something different. You know, it's a horror movie which just all of these kids on Skype just talking. I was just worried that I was gonna get bored and be severely uninterested watching this movie just because it was filmed in that format. And I heard it's not the only movie that's like that. There's another film like that called The Den. I haven't seen The Den, but I've heard from some friends that that would be similar to Unfriended. Now, I'm gonna say one thing that already surprised me about this movie. I actually didn't mind the whole Skype thing. So I would say for the most part I actually didn't mind the whole Skype aspect of Unfriended. Now my positives for Unfriended is that it is consistent in terms of Facebook and Skype. And I did like the whole like computer screen touch and all that. Basically how you would do if you were on your own laptop. So I actually did like how this film explored that and it was cool and I do gotta give huge credit to Unfriended for that. This movie does explore a lot of cyberbullying, bullying in general, how some teens just have no remorse, they think it's all a joke. Uh, I actually appreciate the fact that the movie does explore that because it is something that does go around with society and it's sad but it is true. There are a few scenes I thought were suspenseful about Unfriended. A few scenes that did actually get me at the edge of my seat and I do think the concept itself about if you sign off of Skype you die, that actually is pretty cool. Unfortunately, Unfriended is so fucking stupid. This movie was terrible in my opinion. Half of the acting is absolute crap. The other half, they're good. They're actually not too bad, including the main girl. I thought the main girl, who I'm aware was in the TV show Teen Wolf, she actually did do a good job with the movie. The actress did do a nice job, as well as a few others. While the rest, yeah, they could have worked a lot on their acting. I didn't care about any of the characters, and when they're in a frightening situation, like a dead uh, friend, you know, someone that passed away, but some kind of supernatural force that's taking revenge and completely destroying you, you know, that is scary. That is a scary concept, but... You know, when they're all not likable, then that's where the movie does fall flat because I just don't give a crap about any of the characters. I don't care what happens to these characters. And when the movie starts out with their conversation, like, oh yeah, man, what time we're gonna go, go to that concert? It's like, you think I'm gonna really care about what's going on in their teenage lives? And the characters just really got on my nerves. And when they kept screaming and shouting and talking, I just said, shut up. Now, throughout this whole movie, you have a little mystery that goes on. So you're supposed to think when it comes to this movie. And that's another thing I'll credit the movie for. At, at least it has you thinking, unlike some of the other horror movies. But at the same time, I really didn't think much because I knew with, without spoiling anything how it was all going to end, how the storyline was going to conclude. There are just spots in the movie that gives you obvious hints like, oh yeah, okay, so that's how it's going to all go down now. Thank you, movie. You gave me those very obvious hints. And there is this one scene where they have to play a game, Never Have I Ever. That scene, it was a little suspenseful, but even I thought, that dragged after a while, and that's just because the friends, they just really got annoying. And when there are violent situations happening in this movie, it's really nothing shocking. I feel like the violence that was in this movie was just all there to have shock value. It was just sitting there going, man, this is not suspenseful. This is just downright stupid. How they were handled was stupid. And 
uh, not to sound mean or anything, but I actually laughed when those violent situations were actually happening. And then to top it all off, the main girl, I believe her name is Blair. She does certain things that were just so stupid and you're just like, oh, come on. It's a horribly directed movie with piss poor execution and crappy writing with characters I don't give a shit about. And the ending of Unfriended is probably one of the most dumbest endings I've seen in a while. Unfriended does have its efforts, but it's not enough for me to say it's an okay movie. Because so much of the bad completely outweighs the good big time. So I'm gonna give Unfriended one and a half out of four stars. Unfriended, I could see being a very dividing movie. Some will really enjoy this movie and some will hate this movie. But I'm sorry guys, I am on the hate side with Unfriended. But Unfriended does release in theaters on April 14th, 2015. So when you do see Unfriended, let me know in the comments down below, what did you think of this movie? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Talk about